So uh, once your L298N board is working, um, we will make this car into a, a AI based car. So it's voice driven now. Uh, and as you can see, as I'm speaking, it's recognizing, you know, it's making a mistake, but that's how AI models work. So if I say stop, forward, stop. And if I, uh, uh, and if I change this, let's say I wanted to say reverse. So I'll change the command to reverse. And here I will just flip the polarity. So I'm changing which motor is high and uh, which pin is high and which pin is low. And once I do that, reverse. So now the wheel is moving in the other direction. Yeah. Uh, and stop. So uh, in this model, I have actually uh, trained my model to recognize all these commands forward, left, reverse, right, and stop. Uh, and now I, I, I'm only able to show you forward and reverse because to make the others left and right work, you remember the same principle, uh, what we learned yesterday. So if I, uh, if I make what I will have to do is I'll have to connect the second motor. So I've not connected the second DC motor. Uh, uh, but if I had a, uh, if I used a, a breakout board for micro bit, like, you know, this kind of a breakout board, uh, where I will get access to all the pins of the micro bit, then all I have to do is I have to duplicate this and then whatever pins my second motor is connected to. So let's assume if they were connected to pin 12 and pin 13, then I would say that, uh, so I will bring all of these together. Okay. So in this way, by having one, one, uh, so motor one is connected to P1 and P2, motor two is connected to P12 and P13. I make one of them high, one of them low. So th this is running in a certain direction. And if I just wanted to reverse this whole thing, I will duplicate this command and I will just change this. So I'll say forward and then I will reverse the polarity. So whatever was my polarity, I'm just flipping it. Okay. And then if I wanted it to go left and right, you remember we did this yesterday. All you have to do is uh, if you say run one motor and don't run the other motor. So one motor is running, the other motor is not running. My car will turn. So I can change the command. Maybe this is for the right. Okay. And this, like we discussed yesterday, if one wheel is turning and the other wheel is not turning, my car will turn, but it will go 360 degrees. And I don't want it to turn 360 degrees. Then all I have to do is the second motor, I have to give it some speed. So if I give it a 40% speed, then my car will not turn 360. It will only turn, let's say 60 degrees. And if I increase the speed, like I make it 80%, then maybe it will, uh, it will turn maybe 120 degrees. Okay. And if I say, just make it 10%, then my car will turn, but it will only turn like five degrees or six degrees or whatever. So I'm saying like that, just by differentiating these values, I can make my car go forward, uh, reverse, right, left, and of course stop and stop in this case would mean that I will also add, I'll, uh, connect both the motors and I will make all of them zero that will stop. Okay. So this is the code part of it. Then let's look at how to make the, uh, teachable learning, uh, learning model. So, so this is the teachable learning model here. Uh, uh, so I've already trained this, but I will start a new model just to explain how to uh, make teachable learning mod models. So I'm going to start a new project. So in teachable learning, uh, in teachable machine, you can create three types of uh, machine learning projects. Image based. So you can train the machine to recognize different images or audio based. So you can train the machine to recognize very simple uh, audio words. Okay. Up, down, left, right. Very simple words. You can't train it to recognize a whole sentence, uh, just simple words. And the third one is pose. 
Uh, so it will recognize the whole body posture. So we are making an audio project. So we will click audio. And in audio projects, it's always important to first train the machine to recognize the background noise. So the other problem with, with machine learning models will be that um, uh, the uh, uh, if, if I train the machine learning model in this room and there is hardly any background noise here, and then if I use it in a classroom and there is a lot of noise here, then it will not work correctly. Okay, but to the best of uh, circumstances, let's make this. So I'm going to switch on the mic and I'm just going to say record. I'm going to say record 20 seconds, but I have to be quiet because I want the machine to recognize what is silence. Okay, or what is the background noise? So you need minimum of 20 seconds of this background noise sample. So after you've done this, the machine will automatically recognize I have, you know, by mistake, I have, uh, you know, uh, deleted the first model, but I don't want to repeat it. So I'm saying all you have to do is just press mic and record the background noise. And then let's say these are categories or, or classes. So if I want to create a category called forward, I have to train the machine to recognize forward. Okay. So I just have to say forward in different like volume and pitch, and that will help the machine learning model learn to recognize the word forward. So I'll just train the machine forward, 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 forward. And uh, so last time I pressed it again by mistake, that's why it didn't record the background noise. But once you have recorded it, you just say extract sample and it has extracted 10 audio samples. You need minimum of eight samples. So this will be fine. And then you add another class. So let's call this class stop. And then I'm going to record stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. And again, you extract samples. Okay, so let me just repeat this one. So basically you have to do it for 20 seconds and I'll have to go quiet. And once it has recorded for 20 seconds, you just say extract samples. So this is what the background noise sample looks like. Okay. Uh, so once you have, so let's say you wanted to train more reverse or left or right, you just have to repeat the whole process. And then you just click here and say train model. And this model will get trained. And once it is trained, you can test the model. So uh, just see what will happen when I give the command. So if I say, watch this one. Forward, forward, stop, stop. So if you can, if you saw, then when I was saying forward, this machine learning model was predicting with some 90% accuracy that that command was forward. And when I was saying stop, this machine learning model was predicting with certain you know probability that uh, how sure it is that the word spoken is stop. Okay. But also notice, I'll run it again. Also notice that even uh, when, when, while I'm talking, see, while I'm talking, I'm not see, saying these particular words, but the machine learning model is predicting with some, uh, you know, level of uh, surety that it thinks it's this word. So I'm not using this particular word, but see, it is recognizing it. Okay. So, but when I say the word forward, forward, forward. So mostly with 90% accuracy, it is recognizing. And this was the problem. I mean, just to explain why when I'm talking, this is recognizing, uh, you know, some sounds is because uh, 
uh, because of, of of this like see i'm i'm saying something i didn't use this word i didn't use the word reverse but it recognized it okay uh, and likewise if you see you know it will become yellow sometimes it's randomly becoming yellow as if it's recognizing that word even when i'm not uh, saying that word okay so this is this is a problem i mean we can improve uh, this uh, model by one recording more samples so if we record more samples our model will have uh, higher accuracy and there are other ways so if you go into advanced you can you know train the model for more uh, more times and we will discuss all this when we will do a full training on machine learning and artificial intelligence in november but right now all i'm saying is if your model is not very accurate what you can do is either add more samples and train the model again or second thing you can do is just increase this so increase it like instead of 50 say 200 so it will run the uh, train the model 200 times and then you will see the accuracy of the model will increase and once this model is ready all you have to do is say export model and here uh, we will get into all this later but right now i'm just keeping it simple i'm saying upload my model so it's 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 going to upload the model and once the model is uploaded you will get a url here or here okay and once you get the url you copy the url and you come back into uh, scratch and in scratch um, in the uh, so what i did was uh, in this particular uh, uh, scratch version uh, we are using stretch3.github.io in this particular scratch version just like we added the micro bit more extension there is a tm2 which is basically teachable machine to scratch model so you have to load this one uh, load this extension so once you load this extension you will get all these commands and from here because we were using sound i got this command uh, sound classification model url and what is this url this is the url that will get generated here so now this url has got generated so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to bring it here and paste it okay so i'm going to remove the last url that that we had so this is the new model that we have just trained and when i will click the uh, 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 green flag now scratch is talking to this model okay it's downloading this model and uh, just see what will happen is the labels that we created forward and stop have come here okay and then rest of the programming is as simple as what 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 we did earlier so all you have to do is connect the 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 pins to which you have connected the dc motors and the l298n motor driver board and just say that if it's forward do this and let's say the second command is stop then you say that make all the motors zero so it will stop okay uh, so like that i'm saying in teachable machine i could have added more commands here so forward stop reverse left right whatever train the model uh, and then called it here and then i would have got even more labels here whatever labels i had trained uh, my machine on and then i would have you know used uh, uh, these motor motor driving commands to drive my vehicle but my point is that and we will do this in more detail in november but once you understand this logic then it doesn't matter whether it's a robotic car or anything anything here i can create a a, a learning model here so i can go back to teachable machine so i can create an image recognition model okay so if i create an image recognition model all i have to do is like I wanted to train my uh, my model to let's say recognize uh, a, a screwdriver. So all I have to do is just take the screwdriver and record, okay, uh, the screwdriver in all different things like that, uh, you know, in different whatever. And um, then like keep adding more and more image classes. So I could also train the machine to recognize my face okay or recognize students faces and once done i would do the same thing train the model then i would test the model export the model and then because i have an image based model now i from these this command 
I would have brought out, you know, get me the image classification URL, added that URL, and now I have, I can make a scratch program which will be based on facial recognition or, or image recognition. Okay. So we will go into all this, uh, you know, uh, in greater detail when we meet in November. But I just wanted to give you a flavor that once you understand how to uh, use, for example, L298N board, you can now make, uh, you know, sort of uh, AI based vehicles, which will operate on uh, sound, uh, like we've done, or I could, you know, I could have trained a model, uh, an image based model with, let's say, uh, uh, signs. So I could have taken a sign like, uh, you know, stop, stop, go and things like that. I'm just going to stop share here. So I could have, you know, made signs like this, stop, turn left, U turn, and I would have trained the model on these images and then just called these images. And then I would have a car where my car, I would show, you know, these symbols to my camera. Uh, and right now to my laptop camera and it will get relayed via Bluetooth to my robotic vehicle and it will follow all these signs. So like that, you can make all kinds of machine learning models and we will go into this in more detail uh, uh, in November. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to stop this.